It's just another day. I put it in the banter board. Gotcha. The song's a banger. Where the fuck is it? Specifically because the newest season of Letterkenny. There, uh, there's a thing called VidVoc, which is like their ripoff of TikTok. And the two hockey players, <laughs> to that song, they do like a TikTok dance where instead of dancing, they just hike their underwear all the way up their ass crack and just flex their butt cheeks to the beat of the song. And it's fucking hysterical, but it's actually a banger of a song. And I was like, all right, that's that's pretty cool. I like this song. Ah, Smoothie King. Smoothie King will cheer me up. I didn't want to drink coffee anymore when it's this late at night. Because I like sleeping. Didn't want to go the decaf route? Uh, it's it's kind of like decaf to me. It's like non-alcoholic beer, you know? It'd be like getting weed that is uh, CBD. <laughs> you know? What's the point? <laughs> yeah. I feel you. Or the, the people... Like, I, I heard about the... Was it ha uh, hash? It's hash, but it doesn't have any like THC or CBD. I forget what the fuck it's called, but the shit they sell in gas stations that looks like weed. It's like oh, like K like K two type shit. Yeah, it's like why why bother? That just kind of sounds like you're smoking dirt. Smoking all that crap. That dirt. That dank dank. Oh man. How y'all doing? No. Chilling. Killing. Living the dream. <laughs> it's like, what about you? I just watched that shit the other day, too. It's funny you said that. That's Scary fucking... movie. Yeah. <laughs> He's just stoned no. sitting on the couch. He's like, chilling. Killing. Killing. <laughs> Dude, I've been listening to uh, this awesome podcast to plug, to plug another podcast during this podcast, which, hey, guys. Classic me fashion. I'm recording. I know there's no plan. I'm gonna edit in the intro because I'm not saying it, but I'm recommending sick, sick. with Gorley and Rust is one of the best random podcasts I listen to. Where it's Paul Rust, who's an actor from the show uh, Love, and he was a writer for Arrested Development, a bunch of stuff. He's been a funny writer and funny guy for a while. And Matt Gorley from Super Ego and Drunk History and he does Conan O'Brien's podcast. He's the producer of it. But they talk about horror movies. And they go from series to series. Like the first one they did was Friday the 13th. Then they did Halloween. And then they did A Nightmare on Elm Street. And now they just pick random horror movies. And they do, they did the Scream franchise, David. So, but, I fuck with that. But they didn't get to Scream 5 yet. Because they couldn't get to theaters to see it. Because like, they live in California and shit sucks. So they did Scream 1. All right, respect. And they're dying at Special Officer Doofy and just, like, how fucking ridiculous those movies are. So, uh, I, fo I watch a different podcast. It's very similar, but, uh, the podcast is called The Dead Meat Podcast, but he also, also has a uh, YouTube channel called Just Dead Meat, but it's called The Kill Count. And he goes over all the movies and kind of does a review-ish. It's a very light review, but it's mostly literally just counting the kills. Oh yeah, in the horror movie, love that fucking love that shit. Well, they do. They talk about like the movie and then random trivia and tidbits, and then they go on tangents and shit because like they can't help themselves and like because they're both like comedy people, they'll start like doing bits during like talking about the fucking movie, and then they have best kill, and then they review them on a scale of one to thirteen because of Friday Thirteenth was the first one. Okay. So it's it, but it's really funny, and then they'll talk about like just random shit. And I guess like Paul Rusta auditioned for like Scream Four for a role and didn't get it. <laughs> but he talked about how funny it was. Like he was like, "Yeah, like I really wanted to be in Scream Four, and I auditioned and uh, saw like fifteen guys that looked just like me in the hallway and knew I wasn't gonna get the part." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's fucking classic That's fashion." That's good shit. So it's funny because uh, 
the guy I was talking about, his name is James A. Janice, and the, the fucking YouTube channel is super popular. Hmm. I've, I've heard of it, I think. Yeah, for his reviews, he'll do the same thing. He'll have a Golden Chainsaw, which is the best of the movie, and then Dull Machete, which is like the most boring or worst or you know, whatever. It's <laughs> Dull the, Machete. It's, it's the low tier, but interesting enough, he, uh, when you said the guy auditioned for Scream 4, James A. Janice and his wife actually were in scream five doing the dead meat podcast as kind of like a little meta thing inside the fucking movie that's amazing that's fu it's funny the way that actually panned out I, dude i saw scream five and it is so fucking awesome dude i was so happy the whole time i was sitting there just fucking Giggling big ass like smile girl dude i was so happy i was almost it's like between fucking scream five in january and spider-man in december like those two months Oh, so good, except for the COVID shit. But I, other than that, whew. I have to go to the movies soon because the the Foo Fighters horror movie comes out. Studio I can't 666. wait to see that shit. I cannot wait. Even that Jack looks Jack so Jack. fucking good. Oh yeah, Jackass comes out too. It's already out. It's oh yeah, it is people. out. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, need to get to that ASAP. I gotta see that in theaters. Well, you gotta see that with like a group of people. I don't care. I go by myself. I don't give a fuck. Well, no. I mean, like... It was That's just... what I did for Scream 5. <laughs> <laughs> I, fucking, I totally went on my own. I was, you know, nobody wanted to go. I was like, fuck this. I'm going. I've done that. I saw literally oh, Force dude, Awakens by me. myself on my birthday. <laughs> I would have gone and seen it. I don't care about Scream movies, but I would have gone and seen it. Yeah, Adam's one of the best people to see a movie with, hands down. <laughs> I say it every yeah. time. Yes. Well... See, here's the thing, though. I went by myself and picked a time that nobody was at the theater in the middle of the day. Because it was yeah, when I was still, I was in the transition of not having COVID. I tested negative. I was already like kind of done with it. And I still wasn't back at work yet. And I was like, I don't want to pass this to anybody, but I don't want to miss the movie. So I looked at the chart 20 minutes before the movie started. I was like, yo, no one's here. No one's going. I'm totally getting a ticket. I'm sitting in the back by myself. <laughs> and it was literally just me and Scream 5. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. I was like, this is. This is how God intended for me to see this movie on my own. I've just only chilling. experienced that like one other time where I, I'll have to ask Chelsea what movie it was, but we went and saw a movie and we're literally the only two in the theater. And I kept joking. I was like, bro, this would be the perfect time to just dome right here. Just like let it happen. <laughs> but then we were both just like, no, but this is a good movie we're watching. I have to remember like what Plus, movie it's it was. A movie theater. So like, it's kind of gross. Know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're they're cleaning them pretty well. Like, I was actually uh, I relatively surprised. That. The one in Carlisle <laughs> here, man, when I, when I got in that bitch by myself, every fucking seat was still had like the like the wipe on and like the wipe smears from where they cleaned it off. I was like, this seat's been disinfected. I'm I'm not upset. Yeah, let's be I'm, honest, David. It's yeah, been uh, disinfected, disinfected in quotes. Different. You don't know Clean. what the fuck they're spraying on it. Uh, I mean, it smelled like straight up fucking like Lysol. You know what I mean? Like it had that like Lysol wipe smell. It smelled, or I mean, it could have been fucking lemon pledge too. I don't know. All I know is it smelled like lemon, so it smelled clean. You know what I mean? I was like, this just, wet. It's lemony. It's clean. Just because it's disinfected does not mean it's clean. <laughs> There's still a bunch of shit in there that I don't want to be around and touch. Oh, then, well, I mean, luckily I was the one who put the shit in there. I put popcorn, butt juice, like I fucking yeah. I just kept busting ass in that thing. I didn't feel bad about it. I don't know why. I got the bubble guts like 20 minutes into the movie, and I just kept farting into the seat. It's the best over feeling. Over and over. Well, it was great because I wasn't alone. I didn't have to worry about anybody fucking like looking around like, who did that? <laughs> who fucking yeah. did it? And it's just me in the middle of the theater by myself, like, like three other people or something. That would have been awful. Like, yeah, he did it. Clearly. I just remembered a sketch. You just remind me of a sketch I want to film sometime, Adam, but I'll tell it on here. Because I, wa I showed... Uh, we we saw Cassie and Kevin were in town, and uh, we got to hang out with them a bit, and we got to see their camper, their uh, RV thingy, yeah. and it was fun. And then <clears throat> we were waiting, getting ready to go out, and they had to walk the dogs and stuff and feed them. So I put, I think you should leave now, uh, the first episode, because Kevin and them, Kevin's never seen it, and he was like, what the fuck is this? And the door, the sketch, the yeah. very first one, he's opening the door, he's like, I think it's a push. And he's like, no, it's just here the other day. And he rips the door open as hard as he can. But watching that show made me realize a great sketch we could make, where it's like, there's three urinals, and the people are on the end, right? <clears throat> and you got the middle one, and you go up to the middle one, and you unzip, and you're peeing, and then you pull your phone out of your pocket to check it, and then, like, you drop it on the floor, 
and then you're like, oh, fuck. And then you zip up and just walk away, and people are like, hey, man, that's your phone. You're like, nah, nah, that's not mine. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. yeah, dude, you dropped your phone. Do you need, that's not mine. And then you like hold it up and like you turn you like hit the button and it shows a picture of you with a girl and you're like, I'm pretty sure this is your phone. That's you and some girl. No, it's not me, man. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> and just like you, be. cause you drop the phone on the fucking disgusting bathroom floor, you're like, Nope. <laughs> like you just I'm just not could mine. Be mine. Yeah. <laughs> you, could be mine. The sketch is just it. about not wanting to touch your phone because it fell on the fucking bathroom floor. <laughs> no, that hasn't been mine since it hit that floor. Uh uh-uh. sorry. As soon as it left be. my hands. I just no thought, like, mind. how fucking funny of a sketch would that be? You just drop your phone in the fucking urinals, like, at a bar, and people are like, hey, man, your phone. You're just like, mm-mm, that's not mine. <laughs> like, they yeah. saw you nah. do it. <laughs> I was nope. like, oh, it would just make me die. But we have to film that be. sometime. That would be funny. Oh, that's, that's, our, that's our endeavor. That's my future goal is to, like, we'll start writing sketches and film them. Get you to get that YouTube money. Get on that algorithm. Oh yeah. I mean, damn, that would be pretty dope. Oh, I mean, let me send this tweet over. This was a real tweet, and it's an unbel- it's unbelievable. Real tweet. A real that tweet just came from real tweet from a real big big company. Right, Yo, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. I didn't read the. <laughs> hold out. on. Pop out. Don't show it. Oh, I can't show it? <laughs> no. no, you can't. No. <laughs> I'll look no, at my they, phone. No, they fucking didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's a real fucking tweet. <laughs> Holy um, shit. Hold on, hold on. Three over, one down. Or two <laughs> down. What happened there? Adidas put this up? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Why? Because this... they believe in women's breasts in all shapes and sizes. Do they get hacked? And they deserve support where... and comfort. Yeah, but where are the good ones? Well, they're all shapes and sizes. David. I guess. I guess David. It, it yeah, except, good. except for the good ones, they're like, "Yo, good titty bitches don't wear our shit." I mean, technically, the middle, the middle it. one's probably the best one. Which the middle, middle? Yeah, the very middle. I mean, it's still one's significantly bigger than the other. Yeah, but like, it's still better than nothing. I mean, it's better than like the very last one in the far right corner in that whole row. So the one I was talking about, literally go one up from the one you just said and that's the one where i was like what the fuck happened there that's i uh, i almost said a name i'm not gonna say a name because i want to censor it but we all know who i'm talking about you got damn i'm gonna have to cut this out i don't you fuck. hey listen april itch will exist it's <laughs> no. fine God damn it. i'm so i'm so sad you're making me have to do more work thank you <laughs> It's fine. Who's gonna figure out Maple Itchel? <laughs> you know, it's it's it happens. It it, it straight up happens. Oh well, yeah, that, man. I couldn't believe that tweet. It's enough. So was it flagged yet? Oh no. You don't. Fl- it doesn't get flagged. They don't on flag Twitter. it. Twitter, Twitter's, you can do whatever you want. Twitter's the wild west. So Twitter, I thought, you can, I thought they were Nazis you can, over there. No, you no, can show, no, 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 it's no. only if you say something about the vaccine, but you can show whatever yeah. cock, titty, pussy farts, like anything you want to do. Really? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. show a continuous 30 minute video of queefs if you want. Twitter's like that. Beheadings, all sorts of fun. No, they can't, you can't exactly uh, do that. Well, you might be able to. You just got to get to the right spot. No, I get, mean, I'm just get, not, get I, I don't Twitter. venture there, so I don't care. I don't either. But I'm just shocked that, like, I figured. Man, maybe I have to get off Facebook and if Facebook's dead. Go to Twitter. Facebook. I mean, Twitter? I don't. I don't use it. <laughs> I don't use my Twitter Facebook is where for you shit. get Facebook every. I get day. everything from Twitter. Adam, I get all my news from me. Twitter. I get everything I consume from Twitter. I don't you know even what? get on any other social medias. I follow all your favorite porn stars because they put up free content on there for a little bit. You know, they'd be like, "Oh, check out this video." You get a little clip, a little free action, a little, little preview also. to their. To the OnlyFans and stuff. Yeah, a little something you weren't gonna see for free anyway. A little something you would have saw yeah. on Facebook and that gave you nothing. Now you get something. something Just that, for you, Adam. I'm yeah. downloading Twitter right now. Boom. Water. Downloading. One uh, of the birds now. I have to fucking remember my login. Uh, you do that later. But it's it's back. It's back on my phone now. I got rid of it for a while because I just didn't use it. Like I, I guess I didn't understand it. I don't ever tweet. Like I don't put anything on any social media just ever. scroll and read i just scroll and read and it, it's the funniest shit you'll find 
more funny stuff on here than you will anywhere else. I can't get into TikTok. Instagram's been like the only thing I use. So I, I guess the, that's it. I do I do love the gram just for Instagram's general great purposes. just for like sometimes like people put up hilarious photos or funny just shit or cool shit. And that's why it's like, oh, I can see an image and I go, thousand words right there. I don't have to read it. Next. Listen, Next. I have I have an archive of fucking fantastic shit from Instagram that I just come back and check out all the time. Oh, I, mine's all like DIY shit, like awesome gaming tables and stuff like that, or sweet desk, or like swords and shit. You know, boy stuff, <laughs> lightsabers, boy <laughs> stuff, <laughs> like wrestling moves. And I'm like, holy shit, that was awesome. That's like my addiction there is fucking, oh, 90s wrestling stuff. I, I did put on the one night, Adam, uh, Kevin and Cassie had to bring their dogs over because it was going to be cold and we were going bar hopping. So I put on the TV of Royal Rumble for the dogs to listen yeah. to while I was away <laughs> while we were out. So I put on like a wrestling playlist. By the time we got home, I guess YouTube was like, are you still watching and turned off? And I'm like, you fucking goddamn shit. I picked like a playlist for a reason. Yeah, it was, probably wasn't YouTube. It's probably your TV. That's eh, possible. TV was still on though. That's why I was like weirded out. But it mm -hmm. happens. Bunch of bullshit. It is like whatever. How dare you ask if I'm still watching? Of course I'm still watching. It's like when I listen to fucking videos with my headphones in going to bed, and I'd wake up and the video's off, or like the YouTube's closed. I'm like, how dare you? I was still listening to that while sleeping. Piece of shit. <laughs> Don't take my content. Seriously. It's just annoying. But yeah, what, what have y'all been up to, huh? I've been house hunting and it's been awful. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. It's pretty terrible. It's fucking terrible. Like, I, if I could, if, if young me was smart and would have bought a fucking house at 20. Yep. I'm like, yep. sitting here at <laughs> 30 going, why? Even like, Two or three years ago, it was yeah, any, any time but so fucking many now. Months. Any time but it's now, so bad. I've put in ten offers right across like three weekends now. Um, we looked at one, and all, all mind you, I have to be up at like six a.m. on Saturdays to go look at these houses with the realtor. At least you can look at houses. That's true. I'm lucking out. Yeah, but you can't even look at a house, dude. I fucking we put in an offer, and you have like. Uh, like a three hour window there'll be 47 offers on the same house and i'm not even in the mm -hmm. in the top 30 i'm like oh. yeah it's it's not it's not time like it's time but it's not time everybody else is taking advantage of it like you're gonna have to wait till fucking bo jiden gets out of there and this inflation slows down and everything kind of goes back to normal because the prices are fucked up and right now i think they said at least here in pa every one house has a minimum of 12 buyers on it from the get. Yeah. That's fucking insane. I'm just trying to buy a fucking absurd. house under $250,000. Nope. I'm, try I'm trying to get something. Like, we found uh, a couple nope. that were okay. We bid high on and still don't get it. No, nah, man, because other people are them. significantly outbidding it, dude. When I talked to the realtor, yeah. when I looked at this one house, the house was fucking 240 G's, right? Mm -hmm. She goes, well, how bad do you want the house? And I was like, well, we love, we really like the house, dude. It was on the market for 200 and, yeah, 240,000 time. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, if you want this house, you're going to have to put like a real bid in. And I was like, well, what's a real bid? She's like, right now in this market, you're going to have to offer 260 on your first bid. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. 20 G's over fucking asking? And she's like, yeah. I was like, that is insane. Now, granted, I will tell you, this house was nice as shit, but I, but the, dude, it was, yeah, not two sixty. Chelsea and I not, went not forty over asking and still didn't get a house. We went forty yep. over asking, and they were just like, "You're not even considered in the top." I'm like, "How? How are people having so much money?" <laughs> I, I'm debating on just buying land and building a fucking house at this point because at least then I'll nope. get something. Nope. Yeah, but you can't get away with that either. More. Yeah, it's too much, dude. To build Materials a fucking... Materials are unbelievably but... expensive. Oh, yeah, dude. I was looking at uh, building costs right now. Even without purchasing a piece of land, right? How, how big are the houses you're looking at? Like, what's the size right now, roughly? We're looking between 
1,400 square feet and 1,800 square feet. All right, check this out. Last time I checked, a house here, at least, if you got it built through this one company, I think it was like SNA Homes or some shit or whatever. They're one of like the biggest builders around Pennsylvania and I think like a couple other states. They wanted $450,000 to build from the ground up a 1,200 square foot home. Yeah, fuck that. And this is, this is like at the beginning of COVID. So I don't know if it's worse or what, but if you want a shit built from fucking scratch, unless you're fucking doing the whole thing yourself, hell no, dude. Yeah. It's just it's, it's impossible. It, it's, dude, it's just, it's the wrong part of the fucking <clears throat> life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this economy is so fucked up. The inflation is so fucking out of control. The dollar is not worth shit. And it literally even affected fucking cryptocurrency where every cryptocurrency for the past god knows how many months now has it's, been like plummeted to rock bottom dude it was just tanked i'm like sitting here going like i'm holding on to it because whenever it goes back up eventually no it will get that it, money. I, I guarantee you will but to see bitcoin drop from like I, I forget how much it was a few a few months ago you know you go like eight months back or some shit it was at like sixty four thousand dollars or some shit a coin and yep. I think only until I mean it's starting to go back up now, but like two three weeks ago it was like worth like thirty one thirty two thousand a coin, something like yeah. that. It, it literally yep. lost half its fucking value. It's insane. I'm just like, fuck. I mean, I wonder. I honestly wonder. Like, <clears throat> like I get it. People say like sometimes like our generation is kind of lazy and shit, but like or like we just like to party and stuff. But it's like we are literally reduced to like living in apartments because like we can't purchase any of the houses that are available and like people only sell to like cash offers essentially and it's just like it makes you go like you like you work so hard for what you know like 30 like thirty thousand dollars means nothing i'm like how that's literally my car like that's the price of my whole vehicle and you're saying the value of my vehicle essentially is nothing. <laughs> Listen, I'll throw, I'll throw you one even more ridiculous, right? So I decided to try to look for a place to rent. Mm -hmm. I was like, let me see if I can find a spot to rent. I find this place just like near in town Carlisle on the other side of it. Just, just where you would go to where you're almost out of town completely, but not mm -hmm. exactly. You know, it's, it's out there enough. I call this place. They wanted like, I think it was 1400 a month. For this particular place, it was a, it, but it was a, it was a three bedroom, like thirteen hundred square foot house. Mm -hmm. so I was like, yeah, that was like this is this is great. I was like, yeah, no problem. And she's like, okay, well, if we're gonna do it before we like do the app, she's like, what's your income? Blah 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 blah. And you know, I give it to her, and she goes, no. And it's not like I'm not making enough money or anything, but this bitch legitimately goes, no, we're looking for a renter who's gonna want to stay at least. 18 months which i was like well i don't even want it for a year but you know i'll take it for a year mm -hmm. they wanted an 18 month lease mm -hmm. and they were expecting whoever was going to be renting this place to have a six thousand dollar a month income i was like lady <laughs> lady be realistic i was like if somebody's making six g's a month they're not fucking overpaying for a rental Dude, if you make they're gonna, six they're gonna a buy month. a house. They're gonna buy a fucking house and spend half that cost. Are you fucking high? Like, let's look this up right now. That's seventy two thousand dollars, like after tax. So that's like so essentially that person's making probably ninety grand in Pennsylvania. And that's and that's the type of like <laughs> and, and that's the type of shit they're looking for for the renters. Dude, I can't even, and, and realistically, like I said, I wanted to purchase a house within the next, like, six months, right? Mm. So I've talked to multiple fucking landlords, multiple places, blah, blah, blah. All, like, the, like, you know how you live in, like, a like a condo-type place, like, blah, 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 whatever? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I looked at places around here like that. Literally all booked up, nobody's fucking moving. Fine, uh, whatever. Well, plus, they can't, I, you can't get evicted, bro. <laughs> Well, I start calling the fucking, the regular landlords and shit. So I was like, all right, we'll look at this place, like the one I told you about. And I was like, yeah, I, you know, I, I would like a six-month lease if possible. They're like, no. I was like, okay. 
I was like, well, what about a year? They're like, well, how long are you going to stay? I was like, well, the lease. And they were like, no, not if you want six months. That just doesn't sound right to me. I was like, what is wrong with you people? I was like, listen, I was like, what if I was like, what if I want six months, right? I was like, your shit has been on Zillow for two months. I was like, that's two months you're not making money. I was like, I have cash. I was like, I will pay you four of the six months up front yeah, and like then continue to pay you after that. I was like, I'll do a six month lease and then go month to month while I'm still looking just in case if I don't find one right away. And then I was like, even I was like, I will still even pay you a one month penalty fee when I leave. If I don't fucking, you know, make it to the point where we're talking about, like, if I make it in five months, whatever it is, I will pay you a fucking, you know, the fee. I was like, I'll give you one month of rent without any questions, and the house will be fucking empty. Put back on the fucking market. Dude, nobody wants money. No, man. No, nobody's interested. I'm talking, I'm they offering these steady people. Pay. It's insane. I'm offering some of these people, like, they're, I'm talking, this is going to be like six Gs or more, cash in their fucking hand. And they're like... No, I'd rather let this shit sit for like four months and then find a renter <laughs> rather than let you rent it right now for like six months and pay me most of it in advance. Like, no, nah, it just doesn't sound right. Like, dude, what are you talking about? Yeah, dude, the world's high. Like, like the world's the, ridiculous dude, right now. They really fucking are. They really fucking are. And I'm, the only places that have a reasonable fucking like rental or anything else are legitimate. Like, the one place I saw, they wanted eight. 50 a month right and it was a 450 square foot fucking one bedroom apartment i was like dude i shit bigger than 450 square feet yeah it's you like, can't fuck i like you can't fucking tell me you want 850 a month for 450 square feet i was like economy or not inflation or not that shit doesn't make sense I was like you're fucking price gouging i was like this is not anything to do with fucking inflation or anything else like that no, it's just i was like Housing, yes. Rentals, no. Like, motherfucker, your housing costs did not go up. Your taxes did not go up. I was like, stop bullshitting me and give me a real price. Like, if I'm going to live in a 450 square foot fucking place, I expect to pay 450 a month, not fucking 850. I know, right? Adam, you want me to pay your a mortgage rate? Your area is like fucking Fuck expensive that. balls because they keep building houses. Yeah. And like... They're it's not terrible. cheap houses either. They're the fucking like five hundred thousand dollar houses. Yeah, and they're like even not even those. They're building like townhouses everywhere. I know. And yeah, but and those are so expensive. See, that's the fucked up part because they're kind of nice. They're all like two thousand square footish. You know, it's not small. Yeah. But because of the fucking once again the economy, they're asking three hundred thousand and up for those fuckers. Yep. That shit doesn't even fucking make sense. That That's so fucking out of pocket. The price is insane. My dad told me about, I guess, the other half of the neighborhood, like, is bought, being bought out by, like, um, essentially, like, people from, uh, like, India and stuff like that, like, uh, all, all around over there. I guess they're, like, moving to... Carla or like Camp Hill and, and uh, Mechanicsburg and stuff like that because of the school district uh, because I guess our science programs and stuff like that our education system is like a f is good it's good but it's also an affordable area for business yeah it's taxes crazy. are very cheap yeah taxes are super super cheap so and doctors like and stuff are moving to the area and you can practice via remote and you can make so much money. And that's like the one thing yeah. he's noticing. He's like, yeah, people in like the fucking, in the trailer park. <clears throat> yeah, or like fucking full-blown doctors and shit. <laughs> Driving like BMWs, mm -hmm. living in trailers. <laughs> I'm like. Yeah, it's ridiculous. While their houses are being built across the way. They're just renting a trailer while their house is being built. I'm like, that's fucking crazy. Well, you know, it, it's funny you bring that up. Because I was just talking about this shit the other day. Not in general with the jobs you're talking about. But I was like, bruh. Not being racist, just pointing out. Oh, thing. fuck that. Fuck that. But on top of that shit, I was like, I bet you the best job in the world right now in this area. Adam, I'm sure you've driven by it enough and probably noticed it. But you drive by fucking Sun Motors, dude. The Mercedes lot, the fucking Porsche lot, the Beamer lot. Bruh, every time new cars hit the lot, they're fucking gone instantly. Oh, yeah. And the fucking wings that they're building onto this shit, an actual AMG wing for Mercedes in Mechanicsburg. 
I was like, bro, who's buying the AMG the AMG editions of these Mercedes? They're already super expensive. I was like, I was like, bro, seriously, does Mechanicsburg, Camp Hill, Carlisle, this whole area that shops here really have it like that? And I was they like, you need these, it. Dude, well, these, if you think about it, how many new hospitals have they built here in the last like five years? Yeah. Oh, dude, the fucking yeah, like uh, four brand new hospitals. Yeah, and they lawyers. just two of them are like across the street from each other. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like you, like right there, you have that. You have Holy Spirit in the one spot, which isn't new, but you have Holy Spirit. You have the one in right. Technology Parkway. Yeah, and then right down the street from Technology Parkway, you have that massive, like that massive Penn State, State fucking one. medical center that looks like it does. It's not even a fucking hospital. I'm like, what even is this bucket building? Is it a prison? What but, is this, dude? It's yeah. all like shiny. It looks like it belongs at a, like an actual college. You know what I mean? It looks like somebody really like. Spoofed it. They're like, oh, look at the shiny new building. I like, saw when they first put the structure crazy. up, like when they were framing it, but like I moved, uh, like while it was being built, I'm pretty sure. I moved it's, down. Up, it's up and running now. Well, I moved out mm -hmm. to Lancaster when it was being built, and then I moved out, like after it was already built. Yeah. But it, it is yeah, like but... insane, like how much that area is developing, and there's not enough roads to accommodate it, which is insane, it's mm -hmm. in a way. Dude, the highway no, is it, fucking insane. Oh, yeah, but, but that's the thing, though, too. Uh, and honestly, I don't even see the cars. That's the part that bugs me the most. I love yeah. seeing motherfuckers driving by in, like, a Mercedes BMW. I'm like, oh, that's a sick car. I don't even see these cars being driven, but I know I can see them being bought right off the fucking lot. Like, you can see them disappearing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, like, between, like, literally Audi, Mercedes, fucking BMW, Porsche, all this shit's being sold. I'm like, dude, if you work at Sun Motors as a salesperson... Your pockets must be so fucking full right now. Like, you must be having such dumb fucking money doing whatever the fuck you want right now. Like, you know, I go to the Toyota lot. It's not barren the way the fucking Mercedes and shit is. Like, yes, granted, it's still got some cars, but not a lot. But the high-end cars are just selling, selling, selling. And I, I'm like, man, this area just, it's got way more to offer than I'm realizing. I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck the money is besides the doctors. Stay where's all this fucking they... cash at? They don't get that many in right now anyways because of all the fucking shortages. Mm -hmm. So it, the ones they do get are gone very quickly. What's some sense? Yeah, every car Any sells. dealership. It doesn't even matter if it's, you know, high-end or just, like, you know, your regular dealerships. Anything that's new is gone, like, Dude, instantly. The, the dope thing I learned, too, is uh, Chelsea's one uncle. Like, I might actually... So this is this is, like, leading towards, like, if I were to, like, get fired or, like, leave my job or whatever... I would work for him because the the car values, you know, have skyrocketed for new cars as well as old cars. Oh, so yeah. insurance companies are totaling cars like left and right because they the costs for the parts have just like pew, shot up. And her uncle's making fucking like six times what he was making from cars now, and like like he buys a car for like let's say like. $2,500, right? He sold, he sold like one part off the back of it for $2,700. And then he still has like the training, yeah. like all the expensive shit still there. And he was like, yeah, like he's like, this is literally how it's been for me. He's like, I buy cheap cars that have been wrecked. I fucking sell one part off them and it pays for the entire car. And then I still have all those parts to make money off of. And I'm like, Bruh, I'm about to get a fucking rollback and start driving par like cars up for him. <laughs> Just fucking buy them in Texas where they aren't rusted, and I'll drive them all the way up to Pennsylvania, and then I'll come all the way back. Like, not a bad fucking gig, man. If you pull it off, I'm, I would love to. Like, I, I eventually would, like if my job ends up so shitty, I will totally do that. Like, if it gets to the point where I'm like, I'm gonna fucking like, just shave my head and like cry on the side of the road and show my pussy when I step out of a car Britney Spears style like if it gets to that point <clears throat> I'll debate on uh, researching rollbacks because the one Chelsea's dad had you didn't have to have a special license for it you could just had a normal license for it because of the weight of it mm -hmm. and uh, you, I think the only thing you have to get is like it since it will be working for a company is an insurance card which is the expensive thing but it's fine
I would totally do that. Like, I am yeah, it's fine if you got money. If you're making the money like that, it sounds like it's going to be fucking pretty profitable. Like, I'm 100% fine with driving. I don't mind driving. Like, I don't mind driving long distance either. Like, I will fucking do that trip in one day. I know it's a long drive, but I would fucking do it. If I start early in the morning, had enough coffee, new places I could stop take a shit, I'd be fine. I mean, listen, I also just saw at work, there's a... Uh... I forget what the fuck the route is. I think it's in it's somewhere in Texas, but I forget where the fuck it's going from. I think it might be like Houston to somewhere else. So it's it's in your area. Houston to Dallas? No, it's way it's shorter. Well, it's actually further. It's th- it's a 370 mile route. But that particular route, like it is long. 370 miles isn't really short, mm-hmm. but you can do it in a day if you bust ass. Like you get up in the morning. Take it, get the shit picked up, take your route. Even if you do it late at night, whatever the situation is, you're still only burning, let's say, 24 hours for work. This fucking route for the 370 miles is paying fucking $1,400 every time you run the route. Mm. So realistically, you could do that route three times a week. You do that fucking route three times a week. Fuck doing all the math, but you can clearly see that shit's going to probably pay off more than you're making a month anyway. Oh, if yeah. you own your if you own your truck, yes, you'll have to pay it off, blah blah blah, and all the other costs. But if you get on that route and you decide to run it three, if you decide to run it three times a week, you're gonna fucking pay that truck off in no time. Yeah, you're gonna start gaining your fucking profit in fucking no time, and you really only have to work three times, to- fucking you know, three times a week. That's that's kind of nice. It gives you more room and time to do whatever you want. It gives you more time to work with whatever the loads you want. There's so much, so much shit you can do. I was like, man, fucking, fuck trucking. I was like, such is supposed to be a dying fucking industry, and everybody's paying out the ass for it. Oh, they literally are paying like, and it's so much safer now. Like it's as safe as it's ever been because they force your truck to shut off if you drive for extended amount of time. You know, they have like, I mean, cabins are like fucking designed now to like be comfortable and so you can sleep in it and safe and shit and like there's cameras on all truck stops and every like it's literally as safe as it's ever been for the most part but i mean then again you still have assholes that are breaking into these trucks and stuff and stealing shit like but it's mostly in california like that place is like fucking turning in fucking dom toretto <laughs> That's exactly what was on my mind. Dude. I was like, yeah, steal fucking wood. <laughs> TVs and DVD players out of the back yeah. of the trucks, bitch. I know, with a fucking great premise. That, it, like, literally, when you think about, like, if you ever see, like, Fast 9, and then you think about how this all started with stealing DVD players out of an 18-wheeler to pay for your racing cars. Yeah. And now they're, like, going to the moon. God damn it. Yeah. I still, I, so I haven't seen 9 yet. I, uh, I haven't either. I haven't seen past I, 5. So I just watched six for the first time. I don't know where my Blu-rays H- are. It's on HBO. And yeah. I finally watched that. So I got to I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna catch up now because now I'm just fucking curious. And then I just also saw that Fast Ten. I haven't stated if this character is a villain, if this character is a hero, however you want to mm-hmm. fucking quote these characters. But Jason Momoa is coming on to do fucking Fast 10. I was like, well, fuck me. I was like, I want to know what Jason Momoa is doing in Fast 10. Like, I don't care what the fuck he does. I just want to know what. I just want to see what the fuck they got this man doing. They got to bring, bring the Miz on. Then I'll care. No, There's one person I don't ever want to see in fucking television history again. It's the motherfucking Miz. <laughs> I think it'd be my, hilarious. my God, one person I just... <laughs> can't fucking handle okay you know what i shouldn't i shouldn't be a dickhead about it i can't handle the miz in the wwe when he had like uh miz whatever now. the fuck whatever the fuck he was it on like divas or some shit and his wife was a diva or whatever the of oh, the the, the reality show yeah whatever the reality show was that was fun that was kind of funny like i was yeah, like he is own. a normal he person wife. Mm-hmm. okay is that what it is they, they had their own they're a power couple i think yeah, they, I think they were on that, whatever the group one was, but now they have their own. His wife is, like, French or something, right? I can't remember. She's, like, Canadian, a French chick. French-Canadian. She's yeah, a smoke yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Accent's yeah. good. Body's good. Face is good. It's all good. It's all tight. High good, and tight. Good. good for him. Yeah, keeping it high and tight. Not like this Twitter image I'm going to look at again. <laughs> Dude, oh, no, some of them are high and tight, but... uh. This is just hilarious. 
I mean, you I'm know. just I'm I'm so happy that they were like, yo, by the way, throwing the bitch with fucking Vitilago. Yeah, fucking that's what I was gonna say. I was like, the Vitilago is kind of cute. Like I don't know, something. something it's kind of cute. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's kind of cute. I'm cool. I don't want to fuck a Palomino. I'm fucking straight. I don't know. <laughs> Like it makes you, you're saying like it makes you like homosexual. Saying, yeah. yeah, you're like no man, I ain't down with that shit. Probably this dick. Cool. <laughs> like, there's there's just literally not one set of titties on there that makes me happy at all. They're just they're so fucking sad. Like all like most of them are just so fucking sad. Like why? Why did you have to put all sad titties because on? Because you have to appreciate all of them. Then why aren't you appreciating any good titties? Like, what, good titties are fucking bad now? You can't... No, because good titties cost money. Those are probably employees, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, shit. You know Adidas, got mo- Adidas got money. I don't, I don't want to hear that shit. Can't afford, yeah. They can't afford to pay, pay act- for actual action, you know? I feel like most of the people who got these pictures taken were, like, just outside chilling, doing a slav squat. <laughs> and, they were like, and they were like, hey, take that drag suit off. Titties fucked up. Come on in. We need to get a picture. You want ten grand? Yeah, I mean, you want ten dollars? Yeah, for ten grand, I'd put my dick on fucking uh, on an Adidas ad. Yeah, we care about all cocks. <laughs> yeah, seriously, if we're gonna show tits, show dicks too. That's fucking. That's fucking absurd. Because the same way of all bad titties is gonna be the most like chodical small fucking wieners. Just- Mad wide, hella micro, short. Micro penises and shit. Micro penis, straight up, not even exist. Like we care about all dicks. We was, can't, we want them all. I was gonna, I I censored myself because, like, again, like I don't want another. Uh, the I don't want to have to cut shit out. I almost said something. <laughs> I, I paused. I was gonna say a person's name that has one, but I didn't want to say it. No, calling them out. <laughs> I didn't want. I didn't realize I was about to say it until I was like, "Wait a minute, I'm recording. I should not say things that are not." True, or like they can't be proven or denied, but there's a person. You mean, well, you, you mean by you personally? Yeah, I didn't want to stand up and show my dick. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Guys. I'm sure there's testimonies out there. Yeah. God damn it. It is. It is so funny. Man, I've just had like such like a busy, adventurous week. Like seeing people. I haven't had any downtime. Like this is like the first downtime day I've had in it in a while, and it's like oof. I feel. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Sleep like a like a baby. Yeah, man. I just I've been so busy. Like like looking at houses, waking up super early to go look at them is like tiring. And the shitty thing is, there was one that we actually got a counter offer on. Right? It was on the market for like 28 days, which is insane down here because shit sells same day. And we put an offer in for less because the place needed a bit of work, and right. they countered. Their counter was our offer that we offered the same amount of money, but we would go through their uh, loaner. And okay, and what the fuck did he want? <laughs> what was the fucking? It was some. It was one of those, It was one of those like Zillow like companies uh, that buy houses and sell them, and they have their own loaner program, and they wanted us to use uh... their loaner program. Which it sounds it sounds like the people own the house, but didn't it sounds like they fucking had one of those like. Uh... Like leasing flips, they were like, yeah, I'll, they're like they it was, went to a it guy. It's called Glass House or whatever. Is yeah, it's it? probably some. It's probably somebody's fucking like LLC or some shit. It sounds like it sounds like somebody fucking it's like, hey, let me sell your house, but I don't want to buy it. But let me say I'll give you this much money, and then I'll get this on a leasing company here who's willing to overpay for it. And then yeah. we'll find some fucking sucker to you know quote unquote buy the house. And then somehow these two assholes get paid. The person selling gets fucked, and then you get overcharged for some lease bullshit. Or sorry, some fucking well, that's whatever this what, loan program bullshit is. That was my logic. I was like, okay, but I don't know what kind of interest rate you're gonna give me. You could give me like a four point five interest rate, and then I'm right. fucked. Yeah. And it's like no, I'm I, I'm sticking because like we have a loan officer and a realtor. I'm like. Uh, I'm sticking with our loan officer because she's already shown us, like, this is the potential loans you can get. Like, these are the percentages we're looking at getting for you for whenever you do get approved. It's like, yeah, we're not yeah. we're not getting butt-fucked by this bullshit. <laughs> uh, that's exactly right. It's like, uh, you should have said, like, what's the scam, man? Like, why do I have to go through here? I already have pre-approval. I got a fucking... I got my team already. What the fuck do I need that for? Yeah, like... What is the point of the like? And, that, and we didn't even love the house. Like that was the thing. Is like it was just one that we put an offer in on because we were like, 
if we would have got if like say like if we could have gotten it for like I think we only put in for like two ten, and like it needed right. the kitchen fixed up, it needed the bathrooms fixed up, and then like we would have to like rip up like floors and do it was like shit that like yes I could do like I could fucking do that stuff in my spare time. Do I want to? No. Like, yeah, but how much? How much right. flooring? How much flooring are you talking about? Just the bedrooms. What it's, about the living room and shit? All that's living good. Room or fine. No, I mean, and the kitchen would need retiled, but this doesn't have to be done right away. Like the floor, they did like a weird brick tile floor. Like it was glass, or like a not glass, but like I forget what the fuck. It's like a ceramic tile floor, but it looked like brick, and it was right, like right. weird. Like you kind of looked at it, you're like, why would you do that? Like somebody put effort to do it, but like we were like, why? And just stuff like that. Ugly. <laughs> well, yeah, and like, and the kitchen was a decent size, but it was like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to paint those cabinets, which I'm fine with doing that. I'm that's, yeah, that's not bad. I'm fine with replacing the countertops even because again, I could buy a I could buy a cheap ass butcher block and cut it and put it in myself, or I no. could. I mean, no, I, <laughs> no. I've watched so many videos. It's, it's totally no. fine. <laughs> no. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I'd pay somebody to do it. But, um, yeah, you, you pay someone to pretty much do anything. Yeah. Like, I mean, big like that. If it's like flooring, like painting, that kind of shit, like small stuff, sure. But if it's like a big project where it's like, gonna, it's the product itself is it like expensive. Yeah, you pay for the person. You to want it. someone to do it because you know they're going to do it right. And it's not going to get fucked up, and then you have to waste money and get a new one. That's true. I would even be fine tiling a shower, because I've done that kind of once. I helped Brian. Yeah, tiling wouldn't be that bad. Drywall I've done, it's easy to do that. Depends on what you're doing. I've done drywall so much, because as a kid, I'd punch out drywall. <laughs> yeah, that's not whole sheets. It's true. I've done, no, I've done and, and sheets you, to cut them. If you do like a ceiling or something like that, like you. Oh, you that's know. different. See, even even detexturizing a ceiling, I can do. Like, because you just fucking just go over it with fucking. Um, you can you go over with that thing, it, right? Yeah. yeah. Which, Whatever that tool is. Yeah, we're like we're fine with that stuff, but like again, it's it's one of those things too. Like in that that house that wasn't perfect. The master bedroom was odd shaped. It was squared off on one end, and then it just went like a hard angle like that. And it was like it was almost like the shape of like uh, like Oregon or, or like you know what I mean like like fucking New Mexico or some shit. It was like odd shaped, like not exactly symmetrical. And you're like, or it was more like Nevada. Now that I describe it, but it's like, um, and I if I were to move the wall, I take out the I take out some of the dining room. It's like it was just like not. A perfect place okay it's, location but it's fun it's funny when you say that because i i've run into a few houses like that too when i was looking and, and my thing is like and i don't know why it's just me or maybe it's not just me but like i'm thinking all right i'm gonna build a fucking house and i'm making a, a perfect fucking square i would assume no matter how i taper these rooms they would all be squares or rectangles I was like how the fuck did somebody build a fucking rhombus for one room, mm -hmm. a fucking like octagon in another? I'm like, who the fuck put this shit together? I was like, was this shit oh. built by a fucking six year old who doesn't know shapes? Like, it yeah, fits, I guess. I guess. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on when the house was built, but like, think about like the plumbing and stuff like that, just that you don't really see consider. or think about. Uh, when but usually that just. Oh, uh, wait. This doesn't fit here, so I gotta put it in another spot. But then you don't want to waste square footage. Yeah, it's all fucking ridiculous. Like I just look at it overall. Like I like this. The one thing I'm learning from this process so far is it's like, man, one maybe I should have bought two years ago <clears throat> when I didn't have any yeah. money and just said, fuck it, I'll do one of the loans where you don't have to have a down payment, and then I refinance it later. Wish I would have done that because apparently those people are way better off right now than I am because I'm going to be renting yeah. probably another year if I don't find anything within the next, like, I month. mean, you, you got to think too, you probably would have turned a profit. You could have fucking got a place for like buck 60, buck 70. Mm -hmm. You could have fucking been selling it for like 200 plus right now. Yeah. And even I, if you're in debt, you would have came out of debt and then went straight to profit 
you could have walked away with your 240, looked at a house that was 280, and then just fucking spent whatever the difference is and got a new loan. Yeah, and it is just like a thing. Like it's just, it's 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 it, like if there's one, if there's one takeaway from this episode this uh, this time around, it's being an adult sucks cock. You have to work a job you hate. You save up a shit ton of money to do things you want to do, and then other people prevent you from being able to do it. <laughs> That's literally the one thing I've learned so far. This is my year. Of, this is like my uh, my foray. I'm I'm turning thirty one, so it's like I'm going like the fuck, man. I'm the third of the way through life, and I can't even get a house. I'm like, what? 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 That's right. That's right. And if you're a real adult who goes to work. Fuck Joe Biden and fuck Justin Trudeau. Because <laughs> they're paying you not to work. No, I mean, that is like... No, not thing. even paying you not to work, man. This shit, dude. This mad su- mad, yeah, yeah, mad this supplies aren't there. coming over because of Justin Trudeau. He left his own fucking country to hide out in America because he's too fucking scared. Because he knows he fucked up because he's a little fucking bitch. Then you got Joe Biden, who's fucking one of the dumbest fucking people in human history, and I'll hey, tell you what. He has a disease, okay? Yeah, it's fucking mental retardation. It's perfect. You picked a <laughs> retard for fucking president. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm not even going to fight you with words. Not you. No, but no. anybody who somehow comes across this and dares goes, he's wrong. I will fight you in the street with my fucking hands. I will fucking give you the fucking two-piece and a soda. I will fucking end your career. <laughs> Don't ever try to fucking tell me that Joe Biden was a good fucking president. Ever. Don't ever tell me anything he did was right. Don't ever tell me Kamala Harris was right with her. Oh, we had fucking 220 million people die of COVID just this month. 60% of the population just out in a month. Yeah, fucking, you dumb bitch. Get fucking real. I fucking hate this whole goddamn administration. It's so fucking bad. Damn, we turned fucking political as fuck in the end. (laughs) Because it's all their fucking fault, dude. I think everybody is just being, like, ridiculous. Both sides, everywhere around the world. Doesn't matter what party you are. Everybody's just fucking... Everybody's trying to do the right thing, but nobody knows what the right thing is. So everybody's just trying everything at once. Uh Uh-uh, stop it. Don't you you fucking go neutral on me. (laughs) I'm not going neutral. We know this. His word's not mine. Fuck that. Fuck that. I picked my fucking side, and it's fuck you, Joe Biden. Get a real fucking president in there, and get Top Cop the fuck away from my government. I don't need motherfuckers going to jail for weed. Get the fuck out of here. No, I mean, that I 100% agree. I mean, Pennsylvania literally is insane for not legalizing weed when all of their neighbors have, because look how profitable it is for Jersey. Like, Jersey legitly turned everything around and has, like, actually earned money, where... Adam, I hate to say it, but your your work and and uh, uh, all the governments. Not my work. I know. Not my work. But the, the you know Pennsylvania government is kind of just like in trillions of dollars of debt. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, but feed me Fetterman. All, all, all I want is Fetterman. I don't even know who the, the fuck past. that is. He's a lieutenant governor. He's this big fucker. Looks like Stone Cold. He's all about legal weed and shit. Hell yeah, put him in. Well, I mean, that's I mean, what fucking... That was the move that fucking Tom Wolf pulled, what, back in 2015? Yeah, but Tom Wolf... Took him to he, fucking how how long for it to finally get done, and he barely still got the shit done? Like, so, so fucking foolish. But trust me, Pennsylvania cannot be in the debt they claim to be, because I've seen those fucking weed prices, and I know what motherfuckers are selling weed for. Trust me. Those people are killing the fucking weed game right now. They are selling so much fucking weed <clears throat> that they can't even keep this shit in stock. Like, they are fucking so profitable. Did you know they're banning? So much money. They're trying to ban vape, like the vape weed, the vape cartridges, because they're claiming it has carcinogens and shit. Isn't that I mean, because the jewels are still like you can still buy jewels which have like nicotine and other chemicals and normal cigarettes in Pennsylvania, but they're like, uh uh uh, not your vape pens. Well, that's because the big, so honestly, the big move is that weed is going to get significantly larger, but it'll never be as big as big tobacco. Big tobacco will buy weed, and then it'll change the whole fucking game of the product. So then when all these 
carcinogens and everything else, blah, blah, blah. They're like, it's cool. We put tobacco in it. It doesn't fucking matter. And they'll find a new way to market it, put it out as something else, and it'll, be, it'll just fucking go the same route it's always gone. I mean, I bought I bought shares of a, a weed company, a pharmaceutical weed company in Canada, and I bought I bought shares because it was really cheap at the time. Uh, let's see, when I bought it, let's see how much I have twenty shares of it now, but let me scroll down to see when I purchased it. Oh, it doesn't tell me amount. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Joe man. Biden sniffs kids. He does. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see how much. Okay, so I bought. <laughs> I bought it when it was, uh, th three cents or thirty five. No, thirty five cents. It's up to eighty cents now. Eighty six cents. Not, it's not bad. But as soon as that shit, I bought like twenty one dollars of it. So as soon as that shit gets up to like ten dollars, I made my money. I've made like more than enough money that I'm happy. I'm yeah, just saying, it. I can't wait because, like, all these liberals are moving to all the major cities in Texas. So Texas could flip blue Gross. and then no. it'll legalize. No, that, that'll that never happen. The people, who, the people who have their seats, they're staying in their seats. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll hey, Joe Rogan moved here. Anything's possible. And the, you can't, like, also, like, uh, fuck, like, we've gone on so many tangents. Might as well end on one more. How crazy is it that that people are trying to cancel Joe Rogan claiming he's racist? Are they yeah. like is the world that bored that they want the guy from Fear Factor who watch people drink horse cum and horse piss? They're like this guy. This is the dude I get my news from and this is the dude I'm trying to take down cuz he interviews people and spreads false like information. I'm like He's literally just an interviewer interviewing people. Like if a CNN host interviewed somebody who was giving out false information, would we condemn them? No. We would just I mean, look at it. Listen, the the world is just a truly fucking disgusting place, and it always like you like when you bring up something like that, and you get into the whole like portion of cancel culture and everything else, dude. Regardless whether you've done anything wrong or not, they're always gonna try to take you down. It's it's just it's, crazy. it's it's all they live for. It's all they have. Like the the whole point, like the whole thing that I always think about from this shit. Is the scene when fucking uh, the Green Goblin is talking to fucking Peter, talking to Spider Man, and he's like, "They're gonna grow to resent you." He's like, "There's nothing more people love than a hero except a hero that they can fucking you know see fail and die trying." And that's what they, that's what they want, dude. They want to see you fucking fail. They want you to go down. These are the same people who are like, "You, you, you the same people like they're like, oh, what are you trying to do? They're like, oh, I'm thinking about starting a business, doing A, B, C, or D." And they're like, "That'll never work. You're fucking. Eh, 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 that'll never happen." It's crazy how fucking, negative the world people. is. I mean, considering like we just talked about a bunch of negative shit, but like, but like, I don't know. I just think like at least our negative like uh is isn't attacking or um I shouldn't like not even necessarily attacking like what's the word I'm looking for you know what I mean like we're not aiming to hurt or offend or destroy and it seems like a lot of people like that's all they use their voice for and I'm like nah man I use mine to giggle and like have a great time and like be a goof butt because like that's where I like being I like being a goof butt the world's too fucking depressing we need yep. more giggles that's why I watch silly movies that's why I watched the uh, second Escape Room and laughed and had a great time. <laughs> Tournament of Champions was hilarious and great. I bought it on Amazon because I couldn't rent it, so we can watch that sometime. Just forever <laughs> yours. It is until like you know somehow all the movies I buy on Amazon just disappear because they can just do that. But fuck, man, maybe next week um, we can do a formatted episode or we can do D and D because like Adam has his character. Um, made i'm gonna make chelsea make hers this weekend and um yeah we can we'll figure it out like we can have a good old time i'm glad to hear you're better david i'm glad uh i'm sorry you're not gonna be able to talk tomorrow because we fucking had you on here so long that voice is gonna just be shot uh, to shit it's i don't i don't have to talk at work so it's not a big deal yeah but no man it's good to hear your voice i'm glad you're doing better i fucking miss you and love you <laughs> your covid's gay yeah, I I can't believe you've gotten two different strains now. Like, what a fucked up. That's what I'm saying. It's fucking. It's some fucking bullshit. <laughs> just goes to prove it, the Vax doesn't work. <laughs> no, it's kind of, no, it's kidding. That shit's no, gonna I get mean, pulled from fucking Spotify if I say that shit. But 
I mean, I did. So I got the. So I got the first shot. Still got it. A woman has both shots. She fucking got it. She's not eligible for a booster yet. But so I'm just like, I don't, I don't see it. Like literally, the non-vax, the partially vax, and the double vax. You know, up until the point of the booster, still got the shit. I think I don't. I don't fucking know, dude. Like I, I don't know what to think. I feel like if you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. And if your body fucking fights it off before it gets to you, you're good. But at the same time, it would have been cool to try out some monoclonal antibodies and ivermectin. I would have <laughs> fucked with it. Suck I would have fucked with it. Suck them horses off. Get that shit. I would have gave it a go. Look, bro, to quote the dude from Spring Break at the beginning of COVID when lockdown happened, and he was like, no, I'm going to Florida. He goes, bro, if I get it, I get it. <laughs> oh, that yeah, kid's but a legend. Yeah, and then he fucking got it, and he's like, I wish I didn't say that. Like, literally, they had the same fucking guy. That was the greatest <laughs> shit ever. He goes on there, if I get it, I fucking get it. And then sure enough, like, I fucking think they followed up like two weeks later or three weeks later, and he fucking actually caught COVID. <laughs> and then was like, I should have never said it. I should have never went. I feel horrible. It's every celebrity once they get it, because everybody's a fucking hypocrite. Stick to your guns, David. If you want Trump back in office, you get Trump back in office. Listen, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll take Trump. Just to, I'll, like Give me Trump back, but don't give me Mike Pence. That guy's a psychopath. That guy's off his fucking rocker. <laughs> I mean, like, I'll take I'll take fucking Trump back any day. Guys, let's just agree. Doesn't matter who's in the seat; it's still a shitty seat. I don't give yeah, a fuck who it say. is. You're still in a shitty position. It's like being the quarterback on a shitty team. It's like being on the Browns in any position. Yeah, I mean, fucked either way. No man, W was the shit, bro. Bills Mafia. <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, W fuckers. took care of business, man. This was this was an adventure. I have yeah. to. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a uh, doozy because this fucking smoothie just hit me hard. Keep it loose. Mm -hmm. But I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, click our butts. It's just another day with David, Adam, Elliot. I almost said Elmo, but Elmo. Yeah, yeah that'd be nice. <laughs> Elmo farm. <laughs> 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 fucking creep them out and shit. Good shit. This show.